Good evening, everyone. How are we doing? Um, we're back. We're going to play some Arnie tonight. The update has gone live. It still says development build in the game, which is why I was just taking a minute before we started the stream, because I wasn't sure if it updated properly. Uh, but yeah, apparently it is now live. Uh, we'll jump to the browser whilst we're, uh, whilst we're loading up. Um, so yeah, space update. Space industry update. Should we watch the little animated short? Should, should we do that whilst we're waiting? Are we ready? Uh oh, hold on. Hold on one second. I've got the tab muted. That'll be why. <laughs> Field. <gasps> Beautiful. <laughs> that expression. Hold up. That expression was brilliant. <laughs> Nice. That was a good little animated short. Um, right, I should say hello to everyone. Sorry. Neuro, Mex, uh, Pseudo, uh, who else is in here at the minute? Red Gnome, Sindane, good evening, you lovely, lovely bastards. What he's all saying. Uh, just sitting down some soup first. Nice. Delicious. <laughs> I'll take it for a second. Nice. Um, mm -mm -mm. Red Gnome, good evening, bud. Uh, Ah, they took footage from Life Goes Bases, me thinks. <laughs> oh, that's how you make a ooze. Yeah, that's how we're going to kill our hatches in future. So yeah, let's have a quick look at the patch notes. I don't want to go through the patch notes loads and loads in a bit. So before we start tonight, I'm, um, I might just do a quick script for my bot so that we can link people to here. In fact, I'm going to do that in a sec. Okay, so what's new? Um, let's see if this is much different from what we've been playing already. Um, I think it's probably going to be just lots of art that we have different... Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, I think it's just going to be lots of art. So what I'm going to do before we start, guys, is just make a little... We'll just make a little bot command. One second. I love their shorts. The rocket flame made me lol. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they do it good. They do do it well. Uh, one, one second. Uh, I should have done this before the stream, but I completely forgot. Uh, command will be... We'll set a little command for um, really uh, notes, patch notes, patch. Uh, usage zero, stream chat. Yep, true. Do do. Everyone, cool down. Do do. do. Always trying to be helpful, you know. Here you can find the latest. Patch, 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 patch notes uh, for the current Oni build. Bang. 
Lovely. Boop. Okay, everyone. So, um, as a little recap, a little recap. When we left off uh, last time, we we just thrown this together so we could start doing a bit of metal refining. I'll just press play for a second. Uh, we just thrown this together so we could get our metal refineries up and running again, um, and we were going to cycle the oil through this um, through our oil refineries. Now the problem we were having was the build wasn't working properly, and it did a little bit of getting hot. So what I did between streams, if you remember at the end, Wachunga was posting some builds uh, how to do this a bit cleaner, so I've done that. I have run the game for about, I think I did about 20 cycles, so I did play for a little bit, but because we're getting late game, there was a lot of stuff that I just wanted to tidy up that I've been meaning to do for ages. So we've tidied this up, meaning that now our oil will cycle until it gets to 260, I think it is. Um, 260 degrees, at which point it dumps out. So uh, our iron one could arguably be less. But I think this is our steel one. We'll make our iron one a little bit higher whilst I think on. Because I think this only cooks it by... Uh, where's the thing? Um, 79 degrees. So we could go higher. We could go to like 300. Three, 300. Um, so yeah, that oil then gets dumped up here, and I removed some of these tanks that were down here, they were a bit derpy. I had doubled up on my tanks by accident, basically hashing this together when I was tired. Uh, never before, how's it going buddy? How the devil goes it? Um, so I've removed these tanks down the side, and I've now got our output pipes connected up here. They go to a holding tank here, and then our petroleum gens just take the fuel straight in. I've still got the little bit of granite pipe radiating around the room, so it should keep this about 90 odd degrees. And with the wheeze water in here, it'll probably drop to maybe 80 odd or something, ultimately, I think. Uh, the natural gas in here is pretty cool at the minute, because if you remember, we bottled it from at the bottom of the base. Uh, we bottled it down here. Uh, other than that, I did move a couple of pipes because what I did, because I ran out of water here whilst I was tinkering with other things, if you remember, we were pulling a little bit of cooled water to cool our volcano down. Um, what I decided to do was connect up our AETNs to cool this volcano. So the water that's being cycled from down here through our AETN build um, is now cooling our volcano as well. Only problem is it can't keep up. It, I'm asking too much of this build because this is basically now cooling uh, oxygen set up, uh, natural gas gens, and also a volcano. <laughs> so we're going to need to slap in um, an aqua tuner, I think, which isn't a big deal. We'll just do something up up here. It'll be fine. Um, so that's that. And then the last thing I did, I went into our oxygen room, and you might notice there's some little bits of granite down here. Uh, so I went into here, um, I put in some sensors because we had no automation in here before. Um, it is running a bit less efficiently now, as in it's not running a full throughput, but that's partly down to the fact that my liquid is not being cooled as often and as well. Um, but yeah, we have gone, gone in here. I did manage to keep the vacuum, um, but I basically, what I basically did, I built a tile here, got rid of that tile, built a tile here, got rid of that tile, built a tile here, got rid of that tile, built a tile here, got rid of that tile, laddered up, did the thing. Um, and then closed it up again. So that's that. Um, and that is pretty much all I did, really, between streams. Uh, I think I may have ran a couple more bits of pipe here and there, uh, but nothing major. I don't like doing too much off-stream, so it was more just tidying up. Um, I did let them AFK a little bit and do a little bit of sweeping as well. So hopefully, when we start the game, we shouldn't be super laggy now. It does say that we're still on a development build up here, um, but we're not. I don't know why it's like that, but it is. Um, so there you go. So yeah, we, we seem to be a bit more lag free today. It seems to be a little bit better um, One thing that I would like to do today is have a look at these these piping down the side of the base here And maybe replace it all with ceramic, but that's not something I really need to do too urgently uh, What I do need to do is quickly get this sorted um, So we're now in the process of making steel. So we'll use this one to make iron this one to make steel um, The only thing I do need to think about is getting my Eggshell and fossil and stuff processed. Um, wait, what's this one doing? Um, so that we can really crack on with getting more... Oh, there we go. More lime and stuff. So, at the moment, we are at... Where are we? We've got 465 kilos of lime. So, we're going to need to do some more digging down here. Nerdrage, how are you, buddy? Hello. 
I'll just say hello in case that's all I get to say. Hello, my internet's been balls for the last few weeks, could lose it any minute. Hanno, I did wonder where you've been, mate. I was talking to Mex, I wondered if he'd taken out a hit on you. How are you doing? How are you? It has been too long. I've missed you. I've missed your emerald emerald face. Um, your emerald skin, because you are an Martian. Now, I don't know if we're going to have any little janky... Um, janky things that break now because we've updated. I'm hoping that we don't. I am going to go into these geysers and take our wheeze warts back because we can now slap in some steel pumps. Um, so that's something I'm probably going to do right ugh, right now. Um, because, yeah, we don't need we don't need wheeze warts in here anymore. So I'll just wait till we've got a bit of steel. And then we'll take them back and then I can seal these up and get rid of the liquid locks that are on the side then. That would be good. It's fucking joke, mate. Pride gives no fuck. Sick of it and all now. Oh shit, Hannah, that sucks, mate. Um, I say my mum and dad struggle with their internet. To be honest, they they live out in the sticks in Ireland and they've got the worst worst internet. It is no good. Um, another thing that I've noticed that is going to be a little bit of an issue that I probably need to deal with is the fact that we've got an excess of polluted water. Um, so I probably need to send some of this somewhere else. Um, or start consuming some more water with another farm or something, maybe. Uh, but I think what we'll do for now... For now, we'll probably just slap another tank in. Just to buy us a bit of time. Oh, I also put in a couple of the Space Cadet centrifuges. I think we have now got our first Space Cadet, by the way. Or we've got three. Um, so Ari, Ren and Nicola are now ready to start training um, and they'll be using this. The only problem is at the moment I've got it run on a very power-hungry uh, power circuit, um, which is this one here. Um, so I've only got them active throughout the earlier parts of the day. So like you can see, it's active now. And then at night, when the Duke bot and the arcade cabinet come on, they, um, they're toggled off. So that is that. But yeah, dupes are basically just doing a lot of tidying up at the minute. They're running around, sweeping stuff, collecting stuff. Uh, I want to make sure that they're ready to always be refining. Um, we did get our petroleum set up down at the bottom of the base, um, which now... Son of a bitch. Which now needs its water pumping in. Um, how much... Oh, shit. Oh, when did this happen? When did I build that? Right, I'm just going to fix this tank so that we can... Um, we can crack on. And I want to do an aqua tuna build first. I don't remember building this tile. I'm sad about this, because now I need to open up the side. But it's fine. It's not a big deal. So, did how's it going, bud? Uh, usually yours is great. Runs 80 to 100 megabytes all the time, but lately I'm having big problems. I'll go on Michael Douglas and falling down if I don't fix it soon. <laughs> Carrying a water pistol in your pocket. Provoking the nearest guard. Garda. Alright, this is ready for wetter now. Um, but what we're going to have to do is just quickly hop down here. So that I can get this crap out. I've, I've made an goof, alright. I don't remember doing it, but I did. So we'll hop down here, get in there. Deconstruct that tile. Drop in some water. Close it up. Done. Now this, this petroleum should never really go above, above like 70 degrees at max. Um, so I'm alright to use water in here. I was thinking about what else we could use. Um, thinking it was going to come out super hot, but it seems to be a fixed temperature. I did not realise that petroleum is a fixed output. Uh, the oil refineries are a fixed output. So I don't think it ever goes above like 75. Um, although ours is sort of cool in the room a little bit, so we'll have to see. Um... So yeah, that's about all I did between streams, really. It was just a bit of a tidy up more than anything. I wanted to make sure we were ready to go today without much lag um, and everything was tickety-boo. Um, so that's what I did. I don't know if I can reach this stuff. I doubt I can. Bastard. I run the risk of balking my tank if I don't do this right. Uh, how's the only been going? It's been pretty good, to be honest, Hannah. We've, we've mostly been getting ready to go into space. Um, so the base in itself, the, the way that we've set it up, everything up, has been just really preparing us to go into space. So we've got a nice little living area, we've got loads of uh, water, we've got loads of food, um, and we're just now making a shitload of steel so we can start walling off space. That is the plan. 
So I'll just get all this crap swept up. Um, we'll bang this back in. I'm hoping I don't glitch this liquid through the tile. I'm hoping it'll be all right. Yeah, it's been pretty good to be honest, mate. I'd, I'd not played on it for quite some time. Um, we had like two months off. Oh well, it was like a month and a half basically uh, between updates. So I didn't play any of the last rocketry up upgrade, and I'm kind of glad now because um, a lot of the stuff that's come out has now complemented all the rocketry gubbins that before I don't think you could do very much with. So I'm I'm really kind of looking forward to getting to space, and having a tinker. That is what I want to do. It's going to be a big fucking radiator here, isn't it? <laughs> oh, how much ceramic have we got? Got five tons. Let's do the top bit at least out of ceramics. This is going to warm the base up like balls. Uh, we'll do this. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I knew this room. Uh, room through is coming up and I've now missed all of it. Let's catch up on the one million <laughs> YouTube vids. Yeah, it's up to 70 at the minute, mate, and there's another, there's another few to go yet. There are another few to go. Uh, I'm just going to make a bit of ceramic so I can wall off the top of this and I'll deal with the bottom of it later. There's quite a few vids. I've got about another 20 that need to go live yet that I've not scheduled. So in case anyone's wondering, I've not forgotten. I've just been a bit busy. Uh, by the way, guys, if you haven't already, check out the channel art on the channel. I know a lot of you probably don't look down at the, uh, the channel all that often. But the lady's redone all the artwork. Oh, you fucking asshole. You fucking asshole. Why would you do that? Um, so we've got all new all new sexy channel art. I need to do this, guys. It'll bother me. Um, all new sexy art. And it's nice. And I like it. Oh, it was it was because she replaced that tile. And the shit had nowhere to go. You son of a bitch, Ruby. You son of a bitch. So yeah, the lady had a day off work yesterday and finally got around to finishing off all the stuff. So we've now got all sexy new buttons and stuff and she's working on some new emotes. Uh, we should have... We should have a different Better Twitch TV emote as well. Let's see if it works. <laughs> <There's> two. <laughs> we've now got two more little Better Twitch TV emotes. One of them is going to become a new sub emote later. Um, <laughs> so we've got Derpy Life and then I don't know what the devil one is. She's, she's called it Horny Life. I don't know. I don't know what she's trying to say. I don't know what she's trying to encourage. Um, but yeah, there we go. There's going to be new uh, banners at the top, and I'm going to do a new uh, stream starting screen and all that stuff. We're going to make it pretty, guys. I want to make it pretty. She's got you pegged. So yeah, that is the deal. Uh, in terms, by the way, the marathon stream, we're going to do that on Sunday. Um, I've I've had a bit of luck recently with a couple of games that I want to play as well. So what we're probably going to do on Sunday, I was chatting to Mex about it last night, actually. Um, what we're probably going to do on Sunday, we'll do a 12-hour stream. So we'll start at 12 in the afternoon and we'll go till midnight or maybe later, depending on how wrapped up in Oni we get. Um, and what we'll do, we'll play random games throughout the day. And then when we get a bit later in the evening, we'll probably play some Oni. Um, we'll see how we go, basically. But I've been given a few keys recently as well. Uh, one is for this Fluffy Hordes that uh, Wintermute put the developers in touch with me, and they've given me some keys for that. I've got some giveaway keys for that as well, which is incredible. Um, I've got quite a few keys to give away for that game, so if you're up for a free game, you may want to pop by. Um, and also, um, I've been given a key for the Colonists. Now, they've only given me one key at the moment, I think, but I'm trying to get some, I'll try and get some more. Um, the Colonists is a game I've been waiting for for a long time. We were talking about it the other day, funnily enough. Um, and the developers have finally finally made it open for um, early access. Now, I think there might be an embargo. Um, just stop talking and send me the key. <laughs> um, I think there might be an embargo, so we might not be able to play it on Sunday, but we'll see. I'll have to check. Um, I'll just leave this off. No, in fact, we can do that now. Um, so, yeah, that is a game I've been waiting for for a while. I've been quite interested in it. I can't even remember who it was that told me about it a while back. Somebody in stream actually told me about it. Oh, they've changed the fossil artwork, by the way. You see that then? Um, fossil now looks like a blob of slightly lighter dirt. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, 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 nice, I'll bring the beard. Nice. Uh, 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 um. 
I'll be rolling fat, as the young folks say. I see. Down with the kids, is it? Down with the kids, is it? Trying to be hip, are you? Think you're cool, do you? Making me look daft, is it? Okay. So, uh, this is going to be ripped out. And you're, you're going to be ripped out in a sec. Uh, what is the colonist? Uh, colonist, it's called. Um, I can get you a link for it if you want. Uh, the colonist. I mean, you could have Googled it yourself, you know what I mean? But but don't worry, guys. I'll, I'll tap out of my game and do it for you. No problem. Um, <laughs> there we go. There you go, nerd. You lazy son of a gun. Lovely. Give me more water. I need more. Give me a big old, big old glug of water. Come on. Oh. That'll be why. <laughs> I don't take the piss out of me, nerd. There's no need to be sarcastic or facetious. Um, yeah, so we've now got a supply of petrol coming in, which means that we can now move to jetpacks, which is quite exciting. The only thing is, and I need to give full disclosure here, my single player game is now ahead of my stream game, so I've played with jetpacks a little bit, and they did lag the shit out of my game. So I'm hoping Clay has fixed them, and they're not quite as laggy anymore. Um, because, yeah, as soon as somebody puts on a jetpack, you just lose frames really badly. So, yeah, choke on my kindness. But yeah, jetpacks look fucking cool. Let's just, let's be straight here. They look real good. Real, real good. Right, these tanks are starting to back up, so I probably need to get these back online again in a second. Are we nearly there with the Wata? Come on. I need one more bottle at least. Maybe two. Please. If these tanks back up, I'm in trouble. I might just uh, put you to like a one for a second. Um, I wonder how our temperature's getting on for our natural gas gens. See how much gas is in the room now. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, we're not doing too bad on polluted oxygen now at least. So this is pretty much the temperature it's going to stay now because the water that's getting passed through here is 20 odd degrees I think, maybe warmer, 30 odd degrees. So the, uh, the volcano is really having an effect on our water cooling. Which is fine. It is to be expected. Okay, so this is now done. This can now be sealed. We've got pipes in here for getting petrol out later. We've got power in here for the power. We've got automation in here for the automation. Very good. So we'll get this bastard sealed up and we will remove you and you. Are the dupes okay working at the oil refining 75 degrees? Yeah, fine. I think they only start scalding above like 80 odd or something. So... If anything, it's a little bit toasty, but they like it. Also, is the PO2 settled out at 1.8 kilograms? I think it, I think it has, yeah. I'll have a look in a sec. I'm sure it's like 1.6 something when we look then, but I think you're right in what you say. It won't go above it. I think you are quite, quite right. Okay, uh, so now this is done. I'll worry about the heat down here later, but at least now it's sort of insulated in the base. Um, we can now get our petroleum going again. So, enable, enable, bang. And yeah, what's basically happening with the volcano up here, my water's getting super hot because it's got nowhere to go because my cooler can't cool liquid quick enough. Um, so yeah, we need an aqua tuna build up here, I think. And what I'm probably gonna do is use the oil from here um, with my aqua tuners. Excuse me. Denies the plan. That is the plan. I'm going to turn these off again. I might just leave one of them active. Because these, these kilns take a lot of dupe, dupe labour. They're running back and forth constantly. They've, they have only accept a small amount of coal, I think it is. So when they get rid of that coal, they're running back and forth constantly. You'll see them topping it up all the time. Um, I don't know why, but nah. we'll just stop them. So, you should now work like a charm. So we've now got our overpressurized tank sorted, which is lovely. Uh, Gossman and Rowan, are you ready to do this? Oh, you are. Oh, my goodness. Um, we'll have more more space dudes. Which 
is lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, oh, the PO2, let's have a look. Um, what are we at? We're at 1.6k. I think we're pumping out if it goes above 1700. We might, we might have done this on the last stream, Pseudo. I think we did this on the last stream because we probably started pumping a bit of polluted oxygen up here now. So I think you were quite right. It wouldn't go above 1800. Um, but that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Ah. Uh, yeah, I need to use some of this water up. I think I need a I think I need a cold water overpressurized tank as well. Where should we do a tank? Should we do a little tank over here maybe? So it's not gonna be much we get, but it's gonna be some. And later on we might use an aqua tuner setup to um to tie it. All these pipes that are currently running through the base, by the way, I want to move them. I want to get them all running externally to the base. Um, I just don't know if I can be asked right this second. I think, I think this aqua tuna setup up here is a bit more important. Um, in terms of cooling it, what have we got up here? I mean, I could use the petroleum that's being processed to, to do it, but the only thing is when we stop using our refineries, the build dies. Um... Alternatively, I could try some sort of tur uh, steam turbine build up here, maybe. Maybe that'll be a thing to try. Should we do that? Let's have a fucking play. Let's have a play. I don't know how this build's going to work. Um, I think it should be quite easy to slap down. I'm hoping it doesn't completely cock me up. We will see. God, I'm going to need a load of ceramic again. Tell you what, let's get a load of ceramic made. Then we can turn it off. Then we can get building stuff. My thinking is we'll do something like... Um, let's see. We'll do a little build here. And we'll have a couple of aqua tuners in here. And then a steam turbine. And see how it works. Nice, you're mucking around with steam turbines today. How did you find it? Like, I saw that, that post which Unger obviously made. Um, where he cooled like... Fucking 10 aqua tuners down with one turbine, but I don't fully know whether it needs to be a constant output or how it works. So, what I don't want to do is build something that's going to instantly melt. But, I mean, we do have steel to build an aqua tuner with now, and I think it takes the an aqua tuner then over here, like 200 and, is it 270 or 300 degrees, I can't remember. Let's build one and find out. Um, utilities, isn't it? Build an tune out of steel. And we'll have one. Let's see, how do we want to do this? that one down there, so just going to have a look at the temperature at least. That's going to be a pain in the ass. Need a load of ceramics, this is going to be a hot build, this is going to be like a 300 degree build or something. So we need to make sure it's at least a little bit insulated. But everything's looking quite nice down here, we've got our polluted oxygen tank now, we've got our chlorine tank, we've got our oxygen tank. We've still got quite a lot of oxygen set up. Uh, what I would like to do today, as I say, is do the jetpacks. So I think what I'm going to do, I want to get rid of all this crap that's here. So as soon as we get to the surface of space, I want to get rid of all these desks and stuff. And I'd like to do some jetpacks. We've got petroleum. We've got a, an excess of oxygen. So I don't see why we wouldn't. I might even do it right now. But I think what I want to do is have like jetpacks divided in two groups. So I'll probably have like some here that will do the south side of the map. And then some others for doing the north. Maybe we'll put them like, maybe up like here or something. Because eventually I want to cap all this off. I want to make all this insulated and cap all this um, so that we've only got certain access out of the base. Yeah, fuck it, let's do that. 
This sounds like it could be good. So we've got petroleum up here. We can run a pipe. We can actually just branch off this pipe. This could be dead easy. Let's do this now. I want to play with jetpacks. Let's get rid of all of this crap. Uh, leave a couple of these statues in, in case that's where we want them. Um, and then we need... Jet, jet suit docks and jet suit checkpoints. Uh, oh, you bastard, they're massive. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, maybe we won't have them right here then. Can I take a bit of space off this? I could lower this roof by a, a tile. Hmm. Calmness looks a 